What up, it's your buddy Mark, um, friendly neighborhood YouTuber. Coming up with another song from 50 Cent, Guess Who's Back. Um, I, I, used, I listen to this album a lot, and uh, we really like 50 Cent. <laughs> I can never remember his name, and then we heard he got shot, and then we didn't hear any new music for him for years. We had no idea what happened to this guy until he pops up on the 8 Mile soundtrack, and it was like, it was like a big moment because it was like someone, a rapper, an underground rapper that we were really into a couple of years back is now teamed up with now, with now who was our favorite rapper, Eminem, because after the Eminem show by the 8 Mile soundtrack, he was all of our favorite rappers. And But this is going way back in time. These are the songs that made Eminem sign 50 Cent. And this one, this is the first song he made after getting shot called Fuck you. <laughs> He's a funny dude, man. So let's get to it. <laughs> I love the Nas and Big Pond mixed together. <laughs> he's saying I don't give a fuck who you are fuck you basically he's talking to the person who shot him I don't care who you are fuck you I'm better now <laughs> man the balls in this guy like <laughs> I don't know Wow. Preem, like, I think it really was Preem. Preem was a major drug dealer from Queens. This is why 50 Cent and Ja Rule don't get along. I'll try to make this quick. Um, Preem, Ja Rule started rapping first and started making hits. So Preem put his money behind Murder, Inc. and Ja Rule. And when 50 Cent started rapping, he wanted Preem to promote him. I can only really afford to promote one of you, and I already put my money on Ja Rule. And so, um, he really didn't have any problems with Preem, but then he, um, as Ja Rule got bigger and bigger and rapping about lies, pretty much la rapping about 50 Cent's life. <laughs> anyway, um, Preem got mad at 50, kept on 50, stopped. You know, going at Ja Rule, I, mean, I put, I invested a lot of money in this dude, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, so, I think it was true. And, yeah. Anybody who's somebody already know. Um, not that, I'm not saying I'm somebody, but, yeah, I already know. Uh, pretty much, it's kind of obvious. And he already, he knows right now who's, when he's rapping. But the actual person who shot him got killed. Like 12 days later. That's all who gave the order for him to kill him. He said if Shug was home, Death Row would be a good fit for me. Wow. <laughs> he ends up with Dre with the right beats anyway, so yeah, I guess so. But Shug now would have been bad if it was somebody. Even better than before, they took the line from Big Punk because a lot of people said um, when he got shot, one of the bullets went right here. 
and his voice changed a little. And so a lot of people say it's even better than before. And not to mention, he couldn't eat. So he came back. He was already in good shape. Like, he was pretty... He was, he was thin and had muscle. But he came back, like, Terminator big. So he came back huge because he could only, like, sip through straws for, like, six months. And had to do all his physical rehab. So he came back huge with a better voice. It's almost like getting shot helped him. And the street credit gave him... <laughs> that, that was ironic. Maybe that was the song I was thinking about. Because he didn't say name last one. Said, when I drop, I'm going to sell like Eminem and Kid Rock. Literally, no, Eminem would be the one to hear this shit and say, yo, you're the next big thing. <laughs> the fuck you cracks me up. <laughs> that didn't give me no warning, just stop. I saw the next start. <laughs> oh, it's the song we just played. Um, oh man, I enjoyed that a lot. I forgot which I like that song. I miss the funny 50. Just like, Eminem ain't really funny anymore either. Like, only in, only in some interviews, but it doesn't make funny songs anymore. But um, Fifty only did for a short while. He got pretty serious with get um yeah get, get rich or die trying. But this was the first song after he got shot. I swear to God. Um, and imagine what his enemies are thinking. Thought he was at least, even though he knew that he survived the shooting, probably thought he'd never rap again. And then he pops up. Fuck you. <laughs> I would love to see in the face. Whoever put up the hit, Preem, <laughs> whatever. All right, peace.